Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Black Accountant. It's your boy Mo. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to subscribe. And let me know in the comments of any kind of uh, content you want to see going forward. So today I wanted to kind of get into something that I struggled with for a really long time and something that I'd say 90 to 95% of people really struggle with. And that is a fear of success. And when I say, or not necessarily a fear of success, but more so a fear of um, addressing our problems. Now, this this might come as a surprise to you or may not, but when I say a fear of addressing issues, uh, I think that almost every single one of us always has this one or two um, areas in their life that they're really, really scared of touching, but they know if they get that stuff solved, they'll be able to move so much more fluidly in their life and actually get a lot more direction. So for example, for me, it was for a really long time, it was my financials. You know what I'm saying? My personal finances, financial background, I was always scared to touch that because I didn't know too much about it. Um, at the same time, I would have had to admit to myself that I was lacking on it. At the same time, being addressing the, my own personal spending habits, addressing my own... Um, insecurities in that area and um, just coming to terms that I wasn't in a really good position. But I recognized in myself that it was something that needed to be touched because if I didn't get that in order, I couldn't fully transition into my um, adulthood in the way that I wanted to. I wouldn't be able to achieve the goals that I wanted to if I didn't address that. And um, I think it took a lot of time which I sort of regret, but at the same time, I don't because that time allowed me to grow as an individual and to actually recognize the problem and be able to stand up to solve it. Same thing I noticed with uh, a couple of friends, a couple of family as well. It's like it, it could, it's not always something financial. In other people, it could be addressing a problem that you have with, say, a sibling, a friend, a relative, you know, bringing up those issues that you feel like might become really messy and you just either don't have the time to deal with it which is obviously an excuse or you're just really scared of doing that because you don't know what comes next because either you're so used to operating in that dysfunction or uh, you're just scared of the way it'll change you or the way it'll change your dynamic with that person as well so uh, i think it's really really important to address these things um to become smarter and better individuals. And especially if you're somebody that's planning on starting a family down the line or somebody that's gonna be in positions of power or somebody that's gonna be somebody of influence because if you don't have your stuff in order, it tends to show and it tends to seep into your work, it tends to seep into your life matters and you're not able to function as well as you could if you had addressed the issue. So let's say for myself, if I never address my financial issues, how, if I was coming down to a relationship, how could I provide? How could I be um, somebody that people can depend on in that sort of situation if me, myself, I wouldn't be able to depend on myself? Does that make sense? You know, um, it would be along the lines of just continuing to do the same and same and same patterns, you know, and there's this real saying that I love that just always says, um, only a fool does the same actions and expects a different result. So in order to move forward, I feel like we need to address the areas that concern us, the areas that we're really scared of dealing with, because if we always let our fear outweigh our curiosity or outweigh our willingness to do something, then we kind of get stuck in the area that we're at. You know, while it's cool and you should always accept yourself as as a person and like yourself and love yourself even, it's not cool to stop growing because learning is a lifelong endeavor. You know what I'm saying? Uh, being able to improve on yourself, being able to fix yourself is something that benefits you and benefits the people around you and overall just elevates the spirit. So um, it's an interesting question because I think about it all the time. For me, it's like, I believe in a previous video I talked about what success means to me. And to me, success is peace of mind and peace of spirit. And how would I attain that if I have a nasty relationship with somebody from my family or if I have a bad relationship with some one of my friends or if, I, uh, if I'm if i still struggling with financial issues, you know what I'm saying? So 
it's always a great idea to take the time to address each of those things and give it its due time. You know what I'm saying? Don't go and operate on anybody else's schedule but your own because at the end of the day, we have our own internal clocks. We have our own mindset. We have our own goals of what we're thinking about and what we want to achieve and what we want to do. So operate in those times, but also keep in mind that your time is short. So the better and the earlier that you do it, the better it is and the better results that you have. You know, I could talk about this topic for <laughs> hours on end. And if any of my friends that actually know me and ever sit down and talk with me, um, I do listen a lot, but I also talk people's ears off. So <laughs> let me know what your thoughts are on this subject. And if you want to see any other videos on it, let me know in the comments. But that's all I kind of have for today. So I'll see you guys in the next video.